In this video, we're going to look at custom survey headers in Dynamics 365 Customer Voice. So these are finally here. This is really, really cool that we can now do this. So we've always had the ability to go ahead and change the theme, set a specific color for the survey, the background, and then this section right here that displays. Now, if we hover our mouse over the top, we've got some options as to what we can do. If we click on it, then we have the usual thing where we can change the title of the survey and put in the description. But if we just hover our mouse, we then have some options. If I click on this first one, this is for the style. So now we've got a menu down the side and we can go ahead and we can click on these different ones and we can say, okay, well, what's the style? What do we want it to look like from a styling perspective? So. This one, it's automatically set everything in the center. This one, it's over on the right and so on. So we can go ahead and we can click and pick and choose what we want. So once we've selected that, if we then hover our mouse again, we can go ahead and change the theme color. So this is where we've got the background. If I go ahead and pick on a different one, then we can see the color is changing for that. Okay, so if we leave it at, uh, let's go back to this purple one. Now, I picked the style here and it's given this image with this house. That's not what I want to use, but luckily we have this section here where we can go ahead and click and now we can upload an image. Now, this one is one that has already been uploaded, so I could select that one or I could go ahead and replace it, browse out, and maybe I want to go with that one instead. So, um, there we go. So now I've got that in there. Notice that the um, the actual section here that's got my logo, then it's got the, the uh, domain for my website is a little bit sort of off center. So what I want, oh, sorry, not off center, but it's a little bit too low down. So now if I click on this button, this is for the focal point. Now that gives me this cursor where I can go ahead and I can actually drag that up further and put it in place and once it's in the right oh, once it's in the right place then I can go ahead and I can save that now what I want is well I don't want this to be sort of here so I'm going to go and click or hover over here and then it can say okay well where do I want that to go so I could put it up top and I can then go ahead and put it in the center okay so we can set where do we want it to go where does it make the most sense so actually i could have it in the center and then change the focal point and move that back down again oh let's try that again and then go ahead and save so you've got your options as to where you want to put that and where you want to sort of have it framed um what we've also got is the ability to have a logo so I might go ahead and say, all right, well, I want to use this logo. And once I've got the logo, let's wait, then I can then say, well, okay, well, what do I want to use? Small, medium or large? Do I want it at the top? Do I want it at the bottom? Where do I want to put that? Where does it make the most sense? So I have all of these different options in terms of putting it somewhere specific. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and change this and um, let's go with this image now uh, you know what let's do the fist bump with the uh, with the masks um, so I can go ahead and I can set that um, I'm also going to go and change the image sorry I'm going to change my um, logo and let's browse out and put the white one in there that's transparent just think it'll look a little bit better so we can see that we can change this information and we can shift things around and really kind of like determine where we want things to be displayed. Finally, I've got this great little undo button um, so that if I make a mistake, I can just click on it and undo. Then we can go ahead and we can preview it and see what it will look like. All right, so on this page, I have the survey embedded. So if I go ahead and refresh it, now we can see what it will look like embedded. Now, if you're embedding your surveys into a website, to me, one of the coolest things that you can do now is you can go ahead and actually just turn that header off and say, well, actually, I don't want it to be displayed at all. Once that's saved, we can go ahead and go back and refresh and now it's gone and now it just looks a lot cleaner in terms of being embedded. It looks like it's part of that site. 
So custom headers, they are here in Dynamic 365 Customer Voice. So go check them out because you can start adding them. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.